Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're scanning statues to 3D print low polygon miniatures. You can 3D scan statues from museums, art galleries, or historical sites to make custom keepsakes. With an Adafruit Cutie Pie and a NeoPixel stick, you can make them glow to make a custom lamp. To diffuse the LEDs, you can 3D print them with zero infill to make them hollow. Using photogrammetry, we can generate detailed 3D scans and use a low polygon generator to make artistic renditions. Use the Polycam app and take about 50 photos of a statue at different angles. Even with differences in lighting, distance, and people walking in front of the statue, you can get a pretty decent scan. After Polycam processes the photos, you can export an OBJ file to clean and modify. We imported the file into Blender and removed the unwanted geometry. We'll start by adding a box around the part that we'd like to remove. Next, we'll add a Boolean modifier and use the box to isolate the statue. Switch to edit mode to select any leftover faces and delete. Check out the guide on the Adafruit Learning System for full step-by-step -step tutorial. To generate a low polygon model, we used Andrew Sink's low polygon generator that you can find on lowpoly3d.xyz. Here you can easily decimate the model to get a cool looking low res statue. Next, we'll export our model and then re-import it into Blender to fix any overlapping faces or overhangs. Inside Blender, we can delete extra faces and fill in any holes generated during the low polygon process. Then, we'll use the fill face command to rebuild the geometry. To fix any extreme overhangs, we can pull faces by going into the sculpt mode. We use the elastic deform tool to help pull faces so they're at a 45 degree angle. This will help cut down on the amount of support material. Now we can export the model as an STL and slice for 3D printing. We had a lot of fun printing these and think it's a great way to experience works of art when you aren't physically able to travel. It's also great for archiving. Being able to touch and feel objects that are protected from the public is a great use of this technique. We hope this inspires you to try 3D scanning and make your own. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.